You have to add citations to a document you're writing. How do you do that in Google Docs? I'm Chanel Greco from Superis, and in this video, I'll show you how you can add citations in Google Docs. Would you mind subscribing to this YouTube channel? Because twice a week I publish video tutorials about Google Docs, Google Sheets, and so on, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of those video tutorials. You might have noticed that when you're in Google Docs, there's no menu item called citation or add citations or anything like that. But still, you can add citations, just that in my opinion, it's, it's a little bit hidden, but I'll show you how it works. We're here in a Google Docs document, and what we'll want to do is click on Tools and then on Explore. Now, in general, Explore um, is a, a functionality or a menu item that you'll find in, in, different, um, in different of the Google apps, like there's an Explore functionality in Google Sheets as well. And this is what it does in Google Docs. So it's not the exact same things as in Google Sheets, but this is what it does in Google Docs. We have the possibility here to search for something. Now in, in, our, in our demo here, in our video tutorial, we want to um, link to G Suite uh, or cite the, the, the G Suite um, definition of Google themselves. So we'll just search for G Suite, enter. It first shows me cloud search or that it's not matching any documents, but what I'm really interested in is what it finds on the web when it searches for G Suite. And this, these are the web results, so I I'll be citing this website here. And the first thing I want to show you is if you click on the more option, the three dots, you can change the format of the citation. I'll just leave it as MLA, but depending on your need or maybe on um, the, the way the docum document has to be formatted for your work document or whatever you're doing or for your school or for your thesis or whatever, you might have to choose a different format. I'm just going to keep it at MLA. And then we'll click on Cite as Footnote. And you see it adds this number which references the link down here. So that's how this works. Um, in case you're wondering, this green line, that was added by me. This is a template for my Google documents here at Separis. So that wasn't added by the citation button, but this here was. So that's how that works. That's the out of the box Google Docs citation possibility. But this might not be enough for your situation, for your case. And if that is so, then there are a couple of plugins that you can have a look at. Um, I have them back here. So you can, of course, just go over to the Chrome Web Store and, and search for, I don't know, citation or whatever. Um, I have a couple here that I think looks pretty, look pretty good. Also, what I usually like to do um, is have a look at the reviews. So before you install anything on your computer, and especially uh, from the Chrome Web Store, have a look at the reviews and how many users have this plugin installed. And here there should be, let me scroll down a bit, oops. Yes, exactly. I usually also have a look at the additional information, especially the updated date. So. I would not recommend installing an add-on that the last update was, I don't know, seven years ago and there's uh, three users using it. Well, why? Because it's probably not up to date anymore. It might even break other plugins or just might break functionality that you want to use. So. Um, as always, if you install third-party software or add-ons, just try to, to find the best match, but also something that looks up-to-date um, and that won't break your other applications or plugins running. So PaperPal extension looks like something um, interesting that you could have a, a look at. 
as a um, citation add-on. Then the next one I would want to show you is the Lazy Scholar. Also has more than 10,000 users. And um, if we scroll down here, we see this is really up to date. So it was updated just a couple of days ago. Then SciWheel browser extension also looks really interesting. Um, plus 20,000 users, also updated June 3rd, 2020. And the last one that I thought was quite interesting is the Citation C site websites and papers. 9,000 plus users have this installed. Um, March 2020, I think that's pretty up to date for, for an add on and also good reviews. So, those are four possible extensions that you could use. If um, you can't find these on your own on the Chrome Web Store, just let me know and I'll paste the URLs in the comments below. If you have maybe another plugin that you use for citations and you want to share with the community, go ahead and leave a comment below and share it with all of us and uh, help us out here.